Differential Equations Section 3 Numerical Solutions Video 4 Modified Euler Method on a Spreadsheet In the previous video we looked at how we can modify the Euler method to make it a better approximation to our solution to our differential equation. Let's try out how the method works in practice on the spreadsheet then. So here's an example of a question we might want to ask. We've been given dy by dx equals x plus y over y squared. We're told that the particular solution passes through the point 0, 1. So this is going to be where we start our approximation from. The value of y is to be found when x equals 1 using the modified Euler method. And here is the statement of the modified Euler method that we're using. So the first part is to construct a spreadsheet to find an approximation for the value of y when x equals 1 using a step size of 0 0.2 and then to edit our spreadsheet to find approximations using step size of 0 0.1 and 0 0.05. So I'm going to start by putting in my value of f and h. So f of x and y is equal to x plus y over y squared and my value of h to start off with is going to be 0 0.2 and then for my column headings I've got x, I've got y and then I've got k1 and k2 so I can use k underscore 1 there, k underscore 2 there, all of my column headings in quotes there. Right, so my initial value of x is 0, so in cell A2 I'm going to put 0, and then my initial value for y is 1, so I'm going to put 1 in cell B2, and then k1 is just h times f of x, n, and y, n, so h times f of A2 and B2. And k2 is h times f of xn plus h, yn plus k1. So that's going to be h times f of xn plus h. So that's a2 plus h. And then yn plus k1. So that's b2 plus c2. So now I've got my values of x, y, k1 and k2 and I can start working down my spreadsheet. So cell A3, my new value of x is just going to be my old value of x, A2 plus h. And then my new value of y is my y n plus 1 is given by y n, so that was the value in B2 plus a half of k1 plus k2. So that's c2 plus d2 divided by 2, like that. And now that I've got my new values of x plus y, I can make my new values of k1 and k2. And then I can continue, fill this down the grid up to x equals 1 and I get my first approximation for y which is 1.90351. So the first thing that I did was I filled in my cell A2 which was 0 and my cell B2 which was 1 and then C2 which was H times F of a2 and B2 and D2 was H times F of A2 plus H and B2 plus C2 and then my A3 was given by A2 plus H my B3 was given by B2 plus 
c2 plus d2 over 2. That's the average of k values. And then once I'd done all of that, I just filled this down to get my approximations. And for my step size of uh, h equals 0 0.2, I need to specify that the formula I used for f, f of x, y, is x plus y over y squared. And this gave me the approximation that at x equals 1, I got y equals 1.90351. And that was to five decimal places. Now the next thing I need to do is to edit my spreadsheet for step sizes of 0 0.1 and 0 0.05. So I can edit H and from 0 0.2 take it down to 0 0.1 like that. And then I'll need to fill down a little bit further. So when X is 1, Y is 1.90450 and then I can edit it again so when h equals 0 0.05 I can fill these values down so when x is 1 y is 1.90 Four seven five. So it looks as if it's starting to converge on some value around about 1.905 or so. So just writing that up. For h equals 0 0.1, I got that y was 1.90450. For h equals 0.05, I got y equals 1.90475. Now you might be thinking about what these k values actually mean. k1 and k2 are effectively estimates for the change in y. So k1 uses the Euler method. It assumes that the gradient is the same and gives us the new y value the difference in y from that k2 uses the approximation for the gradient given by the euler method and approximates the change in y that way and then by averaging k1 and k2 i can add that onto my original y value to get my new y value in the next video we're going to look at how we can add extra estimates in there and to find an average which will give us an even better approximation in this video, you've learned how to apply the modified Euler method on a spreadsheet.